Some time ago, I posted a video on Diocletian's Palace, an extraordinary piece of Roman architecture right here in Split. Hello. Hi. Welcome to Split. Here is the model of what it looked like at school. Where are we right now? We are somewhere here. To keep the length of that video manageable, we covered only what's above the ground. But now we're going to have a look at what's underground the palace's amazing understructure. now into the basements of the palace. This is the main hall of those basements. Yes, the main hall. But these basements are huge. There's also the west wing to the left and the east wing to the right. Romans, well, they always built on a huge scale. And this, after all, was the emperor's palace. But before ever building the palace, Romans knew they were gonna need water. So they built an aqueduct. We're talking nine kilometers of aqueduct over 1,700 years ago that is still in function today. So while in Split, keep in mind that you may well be drinking the Emperor's water. Even though pretty thorough explanations in English are available, it's always a good idea to have a guide to help connect the dots. Also, the guy will help you understand how the spot you're standing in below the ground relates to what's above the ground. There are endless tunnels and passages left and right. wooden beams once served to support some of these magnificent structures. But now, well, they're here just for tourists to lean on and rest. Those columns here were creating like a promenade. Housed in the East Wing is a neat little exhibition on the palace, where you can see some cool old photos taken during the exhibition, some plans and drawings on the palace, as well as 2,000 years old pieces found on the spot. The 
thing is, this is not even all. There are still unexplored areas that are for the time being off limits. You leave this amazing place by climbing up the imperial staircase to the even more amazing peristyle. But I have already covered that in my other videos. Check them out.